My name is Jacob Hilton and I am eight years old. As a baby, Jacob was amazing. He was just all smiles and he had um, the best heart and just, he was awesome. He was a sweet little guy. He had a lot of his own little character things that he would do. For instance, he would squeeze your thumb. His big thing was he would want to grab your thumb and go like this. And, uh, and I don't know, it was like soothing for him since, since a, from a baby. He still does it to this day. And pooch your cheek. He's just like a boy, you know? He just like was willing to do anything. He was all fun. When I grow up, I want to be a baseball player. I play with the Giants. Jacob's my little brother. I like to chase him on my scooter while he's riding his bike. I like to chase him in the swimming pool. I just like to chase him in the general. <laughs> Jacob got sick around Christmas time when he was three years old and he was running really high fevers and we had him in and out of the doctor. He started preschool that year and our daughter had started kindergarten. We thought he just had the bug that was going around and we took him to the doctor for a flu test and that came back negative. Took him back two days later for a pneumonia test and that came back inconclusive. When we were there, he asked us, you know, maybe we should do some blood work. I got the email results for his lab work and the numbers weren't good. His doctor called and he said they have a room at the Roseville Kaiser campus and you need to come in. Jacob needs a blood transfusion. We never would have thought that Jacob could have been diagnosed with leukemia. Cancer wasn't even on our radar. We're getting admitted and they handed us a binder on leukemia. I couldn't even do it. We're looking stuff up, wondering why, what happens when you're sick, why would you need a blood transfusion, what can any of those things be? There was no way that that could have possibly been the case with Jacob. Dr. Sonali, she was amazing. She pretty much told us that he had acute lymphoblastic leukemia B cell. The best kind, we were told. When you're told your child has cancer, you don't even understand what the best kind is. Three days ago, there was a 100% chance that my son was gonna grow up to be an old man, you know? Then it was just like, the thought that you could lose your child, I mean, there's nothing worse than that. We were devastated. During Jacob's treatment, it was kind of like a whirlwind. We were getting lots of blood draws, lots of spinal taps. He had a thousand, at least a thousand pokes. When I was sick, I never wanted to do anything. I didn't want to play any sport. I didn't want to play outside. My sister was so helpful. She helped me. She was always up to play. She always made me laugh, and we always had fun. My mom helped me build, like, train tracks and trains. My parents were awesome. They helped me through everything. I feel awesome because I'm better and I don't have to do any more treatments. 50 years ago, if your child was diagnosed with leukemia, there were 19 of, out of those 20 of those children were going to die. If it wasn't for people like this that go out and fundraise and earn money for all of us, there's a very good chance that Jake wouldn't be here today. And we couldn't be more grateful for that. We wanted to say thank you to everybody who is contributing and donating to this amazing cause because you're help saving lives like Jacob. I want to thank all the doctors and nurses that are in Kaiser, like Dr. Jolly, Sonali, and Dr. Ralph. We really want to thank LLS for all the research that they've done the time and effort, the money they've spent to find treatments and cures for leukemia. It gave us hope and it gave him a chance. I want to thank all the people who are in LLS raising money to save lives like mine. Thank you, LLS. Yes, thank you, LLS, for saving my brother.